Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing the next optional bug fix update, rolling out shortly for Windows 10 version 22H2. And that next optional update will be KB5025297, which Microsoft made available to the release preview channel insiders on the 13th of April, where it's currently undergoing its final testing before they push that out to the stable version. Now, um, this next update, um, I would suggest would start rolling out um, starting the 25th of April, which will be the Tuesday of the last week of this month. And that will be KB5025297. So this will be rolling out shortly. Now, what can we expect? Um, obviously, this is open to change, but um, more or less, uh, there are three new features that Microsoft is busy testing. There are minor new features, but nonetheless, maybe of use and maybe handy for some users. Now, the first new feature, um, if we just head over quickly to the settings and our time and language region and language settings, um, Microsoft says this update adds the ability to sync language and region settings when you change your Microsoft account display language or regional format. So how that's all going to happen, um, if we head back to the accounts, sync your settings, um, Microsoft carries on to say Windows will save those settings to your account if you have turned on language preferences. Sync in your Windows backup settings. So if you have sync settings toggled on, um, you'll now have the ability to sync your language and region settings after you apply this next optional update. Now, just to mention the next new feature, um, it's mainly geared towards system IT admins, but nonetheless, this update changes firewall settings. You can now configure application group rules. And then the third new feature that we can expect to roll out with the next optional update brings back the search box experience on the Windows 10 taskbar. So even if you have a top, bottom, regular or small icons taskbar, you'll be able to see the search box appear, which I think is a nice move in the right direction, which I think will make a lot of Windows 10 users um, who do change the orientation of the taskbar and that will be a nice handy feature. Now, Microsoft says if you want to restore your original search experience, you can do that easily by using the context menu. So when the update does roll out, you'll just be able to right-click, head to your search, and then you can configure that in your search settings or responding to a dialog that appears when you use search. So obviously, a dialog will appear if um, that does become available. Now, um, just to go through a couple of the other bug fixes because this is a bug fix update and a non-security update. So just to go through these and make quick mention if you would be interested. Uh, the update addresses an issue that sends unexpected password expiration notice to users. Um, the update addresses an issue that affects the local security authority subsystem service LSASS process. Uh, it might stop responding because of this the machine was restarting so that's a nice bug fix improvement. And then two for Edge Internet Explorer mode. The, up the update addresses an issue um, where the pop-up windows was opening in the background instead of in the foreground if you're using Internet Explorer mode on Edge. And also the second, the tab window manager stopped responding using Edge Internet Explorer mode. So that's two fixes for Internet Explorer mode. And then just a couple more to mention for this video. Uh, the update affects Xbox Elite users who have the Xbox adapt Adaptive Controller. This update applies your controller remapping preferences on the desktop. And um, if we head back to our um, accounts page and sign in options, um, the update addresses an issue that occurs when you use a PIN to sign into Windows Hello for Business. Um, signing into the two remote desktop services might fail. The error message is the request is not supported. So that's another important bug fix. And then three more to mention. The update addresses an issue that might affect news and interests. Um, apparently it might flicker on the taskbar and File Explorer might stop responding. And this is actually one that Microsoft has been trying to fix for quite some time and seems to be now rolling out once again in this latest optional bug fix update and also the update addresses rendering issues that affect the search box so this is another search box uh, fix rolling out and um, that may affect the search box gleam and animated icon this issue occurs when you use wide narrow or small taskbar mode so another search box improvement rolling out and then the last one just to mention for today 
Uh, the update addresses an issue that affects the resilient file system, REFS. A stop error prevents the OS from starting up correctly. And that's also another bug that Microsoft keeps on trying to address. And then, of course, there are some other bug fixes um, that will be rolling out. And that's more or less what is new that we can expect to see roll out in the next optional bug fix update for Windows 10 version 22H2 KB5025297. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.